Good afternoon everyone. We are here back in Indonesia, Bali, Sanur. And what a beautiful end of the day. Just look around a little bit with me. It's a little bit windy. It's blue skies, clear water. It has been an amazing day. And it's going to be also a beautiful sunset. But we are here today to talk about the 2020, the newest, the best all-star that we have ever made. So today I will go with you around a couple of the features and I will show you what the board is like, why the board is new, what we changed for you over the past years and I also go around a little bit the story of the All-Star because the All-Star has been one of the most used race board over the past decades and I think many of us racers and people from around the world that like sub racing has chosen the All-Star as their number one board or their first race board and then transited into something else. Even for myself, I remember back in 2014, an All-Star was my first race board. Back in time, the 24 and a half Turtle Bay was actually the widest board of the range. And it has been very interesting to see how we develop new boards, how we push the board to go faster, and what we changed to actually create more and more performance-oriented boards on one way, and then more user-friendly boards on the other way, because that's what we are trying to create all the time. From one side, we are trying to make a board that fits all the conditions, a board that fits all type of different paddlers, but also a board that actually allows you to get to competitions and uh, be able to feel comfortable in any kind of condition. And the All-Star is the board for this. It has been created to be able to handle different conditions from flat water to choppy conditions to big waves to reef breaks over here of Isla in Sanur. It's really a board that takes them all out. And I think that it has been something very important and also for my side a big pleasure to be working with because it's a big challenge but I think year by year we managed to really create a board that is able to be good for all kinds of conditions and uh, no matter if it's a flat water race, a choppy downwind race, an ocean race, you know that if you have an all-star in your hand you're going to do well. And um, over the years the development has been going very well. We had Michael, Connor, Bruno, Sony, Fiona, myself, Trevor, working a lot on these boards to make, able to make a real speed machine. And uh, I think for 2020 we created something very special. You know, before in 2019, 2018, 2017, we were always playing with different concaves on the bottom shape of the board to give more stability to people. That, but we felt that we created very stable boards and in one way from going down from 24 and a half we managed to bring the board to 23 and a half and then to 22 and a half which is about the width of the board but overall we felt that we might need to create something a little different something a little new to be able to push over the boundary and for example during racing be able to go with the 10 km per hour constant without any disturbance and for 2020 we created something quite special so basically instead of having a concave on the bottom of the board we put a big belly on it we call it the belly but it's actually more of a rounded V which is also then helped with an other kind of construction side like with the two little concaves on the two sides and I will go about and I will tell you about this a little bit later but basically the belly gave a board more lift we elevated the board from the water and we felt that it was going a lot faster. And faster boards means better performance and that's what we really wanted to do and that's what we are trying to achieve here at Starboard. So we were really happy with the result but we also felt that eventually because of a roundness over under the board we had a little bit more issue with stability and then we had to create a new system under the bottom to create more stability on the board as well. At the moment the starboard, um, the starboard constructions are like, and actually the All Star and most of our race boards are coming with two different constructions. So we have a carbon sandwich, which is a complete carbon board, and we have the wood carbon technology, which is a little bit more reinforced, more durable, a little bit heavier, but also much stronger construction. So we have a hyper light construction and a very strong construction that you can decide from. Um, this year, the All-Star 14-foot race board is coming in five different sh sizes. So we have the 14 by 22 and a half, the 14 by 23 and a half, 
the 14 by 24 and a half and then a 14 by 26 and a 14 by 28 raised board. The 12 sixes haven't changed shape from 2019 onwards. So we brought the same shapes into 2020. We will change a little bit the design, but the shapes are at the same. So we will talk today mostly about the 2020 boards. This is also my first live video. So if there's anything a little bit off, please don't be mad at me. We will be doing more and more of this around the year. So like, I think it's a good way to engage and connect with you as well. But here we are. So basically I was walking down the beach and I bumped into this beautiful board. One special thing about Sonor is that they have Ripcord School of Surf. A Ripcord School of Surf has all types of different equipment. They have race boards, race foils. They have a lot of different kite equipment, a lot of windsurfing equipment, very good surfboards, very good subboards. And uh, I think pretty much is one of the most well equipped sub school and surf school and water sports center of the world over here now you can see we have an amazing board in front of us hello stan how are you doing I can wave back at you this is one of the most beautiful board that i have ever seen it has been created to win competitions and it has been created to be an absolute number one and an absolute dominant performance oriented race machine for all sorts of conditions and we're very lucky that here in Sanur they have it already so we can actually talk about it see it see all the different features and enjoy this amazing board here during the Bali sunset which is quite a unique opportunity so you can see here in front of us the board from outside doesn't look much different than the board that we had in 2019 but actually is a completely reinvented race machine so one of the biggest inventions and one of the biggest things that we have actually had on the board is the bottom shape so instead of having a concave under the bottom we had a belly put under which is actually elevating the the board and giving it more lift and a much better and faster glide but what we're going to talk about first is not the bottom of the board but what happened on the deck you can see that we have recessed the deck a little bit especially here on the standing area to give a little bit more of a balance and a little bit of a feel where like you still have a flat deck board but with the rest of this deck you also gain stability so you feel to stand a little bit closer to the water you feel to be standing more inside of the board which gives you a very pleasant sense of stability and with this pleasant sense of stability you can apply more power you can go faster and you can really find that balance that is really necessary some during some of the conditions on the water it's a beautiful board i love it it has been my choice to go especially i will be using this board in carolina during the carolina cup the model that we have here in Sanur is a 14 by 23 and a half. So this is possibly the most common board that you would be using during competitions. Some people said that the 22 and a half became a bit more tippy than what it was before. I agree with that. It's a little bit, it's a board that you need to learn how to use. Definitely standing on a round shape rather than on a concave gives you a feeling of a missile. But once you get used to it and you actually figure out how to use the board you really realize that it's incredibly fast you, you you wouldn't know hello ping hello trevor good to see you over here hello andras hey rocio it's good to see you from all around the world we're getting more and more numerous around here so yeah we got a beautiful board and one of the big things was about the volume distribution of the nose so we created a little bit more volume here towards the top of the board so it has a better pinch through the chop and you get less stuck during different uh, uh, different conditions and I think it's really like has created that kind of lift that especially in choppy conditions gives you a very pleasant feeling and just pushes you over anything else one of the new things about the, 22, uh, the 2020 all-star is also the drainage hole system that we have created 
because we have recessed the deck and we don't want people to be standing in water especially in colder conditions maybe here in Bali it's a little bit less relevant and the water feels good but you have to think about also colder races we created the drainage system that drains the board from the inside out so it's a hole behind the standing area that goes through the bowl board and you can see that it's actually a perfect system it's almost like the belly of a it, it looks a little bit like the belly of a dolphin I would almost say it's very efficient it drains all the water you're completely standing in a dry surface while you're paddling and you can go through any kind of water condition and still not have any kind of water in your tray so you have that little bit recess deck for more balance and stability but you also have this amazing drainage system that just gets the water out of the way and keeps your feet dry so we have a better engineered volume distribution on the nose a little bit higher pinched nose shape over here especially on the 22 and on the 23 to give you that lift through the chop and to not get the, the nose catch while you're doing downwinders while towards the tail of the board what we can observe is a new very gripped diamond grip tail pad which especially in wavy conditions conditions that you would have for example here in Sonor is really giving you a good idea of where to step and especially while you're surfing it gives you a lot of confidence and a lot of like grip to your feet so you never get slipped off from the board you find this standing position like you find this uh, kind of material at the tail of the board and all around through the standing area the last thing that you have to know about the standing area is that we have extended it for you so we've seen that in flat water especially while we're sprinting you because you want the board to be balanced on the water sometimes the faster you go the more the nose tendentially lifts up in the water but eventually we extended the standing area so you have more spacing here and we added some centimeters toward the front part so that you can find that balance and you can find that push over the board by keeping the nose always down and just pushing through with a very very high speed so especially the standing area and the extension of the standing area was very useful in the condition where you were going very fast with it the last thing about the top of the deck is the many different positioning possibilities of handles well we've seen this during the year at the really beginning maybe in 2014 or 2015 we had a couple of handle positions only we had the classic one in the middle of the board and then we have the side ones but it was always in a parallel position and especially talking with Connor and other people we've seen that some of us like the handle position to be quite a little bit different so maybe one of them a little bit further forward one of them a little bit further backwards or eventually go in the Australian life-saving kind of holding positions more in the nose of the board where you would just be dragging your board towards from the front during the transition area so we gave the possibility on the all-star to have all sorts of different handle positions and this handle position gives you the opportunity to set up the board in the most uh, personal way possible I would say so this is more or less about the top deck of the board maybe one last thing that is important to mention is the straightness of the rails so I will bring you around from the front as well and you can see that the rails of the board are really straight and this gives you extra stability and extra glide while you're paddling through all sorts of water conditions so you have a very round bottom a very round top but the rails of the board are thick and straight to give you that kind of lock into the water that gives you sense of stability and a very good and long glide as well. So what we are going to do now is we flip the board and I will show you some little secrets from the bottom. You know some people would ask why to use an all-star and we are using an all-star for all sorts of different races. The Ulster is going to be the board to go during Carolina. Carolina Cup is a race where you have an insane downwind there, an ocean chop to start with, and then you have a big long flat water section on the back of it, 
and then again a gnarly downwind possibly at the end so you really have a combination of all sorts of different water conditions and these all sorts of water conditions require a special board that can rule them all and I think the starboard all-star is the board that is perfectly able to handle it you can ask Sonny if you want about that so here we have the re-engineered and redesigned bottom shape of the 2020 all-star you can see the drainage hole uh, outcome on the bottom but furthermore what you really can see here is a big belly in the middle of the board that gives you that extraordinary lift and pop and speed all the way through that you have been always wishing and dreaming about. The belly is not only helping you to give you more pop but it's also lifting the board while you're pedaling in flat sections so you have very good glide probably the fastest glide I have ever felt in an all-star and besides that glide you can always feel that the board becomes more reactive the board becomes more maneuverable and the board becomes faster in all sorts of way so I'm really happy about this outcome because especially in competitions where you don't only want to have flat water and actually none of the competitions are flat unless you're always in the front of it like if you go and you just consider a competition with 300 paddlers if you're in the middle of the pack you want something like you want a board that is able to handle very good chop and just sit on the top of the water and pass catch the bump and catch and catch like all sorts of different conditions and then keep on going with a nice speed and this board is the board that you want to have in those conditions you see the chamfered rails to furthermore uh, decrease the water surface of the board while in speed the chamfered rails are going on both of the side so in with the chamfered rail like you really decrease the touching uh, the gliding surface of the board and then you have this beautiful round belly that runs from the top all the way till the tail of the board the little V that you see over here towards the tail is helping in mostly surfing conditions so you can have a really nice maneuverable board that is able to do rail to rail turns which I do really appreciate and one of the biggest features of this bottom shape is not only the belly in the middle that you can see through all the way from the side but it's also these two little con also these two little uh, concaves that we have on the two side of the belly which serve as a little bit of a stability increaser system just like it was like a side wing or like a side wheel on a bicycle so besides the belly that you see here in the middle we have also two little concaves to help you to create stability while you're paddling this board I would turn the camera now and just talk a little bit more about the personal experience of why it's great to have a starboard all-star so we said at the beginning that when I started sub racing the all-star was my first board I had a 12 6 by 24 and a half uh, starboard all-star it was called Turtle Bay at the time and that was the narrowest board that we had in the range and I think that ever since then like pretty much all my friends and all other competitors once they get into sub competition they think of the all-star as the first board to go to really have great performance great stability good speed on the reliable board in all conditions and this is the board that it is even near like for example this board belongs at the moment to Lucas who is one of the first Indonesian professional paddlers who has been training with me since and he was dreaming about this board he wrote a Christmas letter Father Christmas and then with Johnny and Ripker School of Surf we managed to get him a board like this and we believe that this board is going to be good for him for many many years obviously the 23 and a half has a little bit more stability and uh, it has a little bit it's a little bit more forgiving in different conditions while the 22 and a half is a board that requires a bit more experience while the 24 the 26 and the 28 have a lot of stability and they're also very fast so like it's pretty much a board for everyone people might either might 
ask as well like who is the all-star for just to have an idea I am 79 uh, no 69 to 71 kilos depending on how much we eat or how is the training preparation going but roughly I'm a 70 rider a 70 kilogram rider and then 179 tall so almost 180 but the board has plenty of volume so you really don't have to fear about not being and not having enough volume in the board not only on the 22 and a half and on the 23 and a half but also in the 24 26 and 28 the board is created with a lot of volume to give a lot of pop to you so it's a board that you can use from being 60 kilos up to 120 kilos I would say and you will feel fine you be will feeling that you have enough support and definitely you will be super fast on the board because that's what this board is made for I think the all-star for 2020 has been redesigned like it's a game changer definitely you're standing and you stop standing on a concave and you have to imagine to be standing more some kind of a missile so at the beginning when you get onto the board you will have this kind of feeling of rolliness that you want to learn how to maneuver but once you like once you master standing on the board and once you have a better understanding of how to use it you really realize that this board does not want to stop if you're in a downwinder or if you're in choppy conditions the board is keep on going gliding and keep on going forward as it was normal as it was other boards would do in a flat water and that's an amazing property of the belly I really have to say that like the first time when we put the belly under the board Connor Michael Trevor all of us just looked at each other and we were blown away we were like wow this is definitely some kind of a feeling that is new some kind of a feeling that is a game changer because you can go a lot faster and the previous years I have been using for example a sprint for Carolina and after we created the new all-star I'm pretty sure that like the all-star is the board that is going to be a game changer for the race as well all the races in Europe all the different kind of competitions that you could have for example in Zamami in Japan during the Japan Cup during the European Tour and the Euro Tour races I do believe that the All-Star again is going to be the competition, the board that you want to have during the competition. I'm super happy with it. It has been really greatly engineered and I can't wait to take it out and catch some waves with it. Besides that, this board over here in Sonor with some proper beach brakes and proper reef brakes have been surfing like a real champion. The locals are not believing the speed and the, and the agility on the wave that you can achieve with this board so being 14 foot and having the speed of 10 to 11 to 12 km per hour also on the flat it's really a board for all and one of the most beautiful designs that I think we have ever created I will take you around it one more time so that you can have a better look at it swapping the camera over here here you have it it's a gorgeous speed machine Something that like you might want to talk about and something that might be interesting is the decision of what kind of fin you want to have in the board. I usually like to use this board with a shorter kind of fin, but definitely just to have the maneuverability, but definitely if you put a deeper and more straight fin into it, you will increase the stability of the board. So over here you can see it one more time. This is the 2020 All-Star. This is the fastest and the most winning board of the past decade. And this is the board that most of the champions around the world have been choosing for many years to win competitions. There is no doubt about it. The 2020 All-Star is the board that is going to make you win this year. And this All-Star here is one of the most beautiful things that we have ever engineered. I hope you guys enjoyed please let me know if you have any questions I think I went through them all my favorite board to go with the all-star is the 22 and a half just because I feel that it goes even faster than the 23 and a half but at the same time we've seen during testing that the major difference between the 22 the 23 the 24 
the 26 and the 28 all-star is not really the speed but the amount of balance and the amount of effort that you have to put into the stroke but the overall speed of the board was always there just last time for example during the sub 11 island in thailand i was mostly paddling on a 14 by 26 all-star 2020 the same model but the wider one and i loved it it was an amazing fast ocean touring board and i could just have a very good and perfectly balanced cadence and the board were just flying through all sorts of conditions so like it was really a board that made me enjoy a lot my title and i hope that it will do the same for you too have a good day enjoy the evening I will be enjoying the sunset over here in Bali. If you have any questions, let us know. And if you have a chance, have a go to it. Call up your local distributor. Call up a friend who has a board already like this. Jump on it, have a try, and get blown away because the Starboard 2020 All-Star is going to be the game changer for the season. It's going to go make you go faster, and it's going to give you that kind of sensation that you have been always wanting for from a subboard.